the main rule for grocery shopping is to never go on an empty stomach. people of YouTube and welcome to another video from Shi Jiazhuang, China. So today we're gonna go grocery shopping to see the difference between a Chinese supermarket and a Western one. I'm not really sure if there's a huge difference or not, but we will see. And also, I want to say that I'm not really sure how this video is gonna turn out, just because today it's Sunday and it's 11 a.m. So we're probably gonna find lots of people there, but again, we will see. I'm filming this video with my cell phone because this is a totally unexpected video so I'm really sorry for the low quality right now I'm on my way to the bus stop and I don't really know if you can see but that building over there that's my international student's dorm so in order to get to the bus stop I have to walk all the way there and then cross the street and then walk there so it's gonna be a long walk I really hate the fact that Chinese people never respect the red lights. As you can see, everything is red and still you can see cars like passing by. That sucks so bad. And this is the right way to cross the street. Always stay behind a Chinese person. Always. So I've just arrived at the bus stop and the very first difference between going grocery shopping in China and going grocery shopping in another Western country is the fact that you have to carry your big backpack to bring all your groceries because you will never get plastic bags when you check out. I don't know if in your country is like that but at least in Peru when you check out you get lots of plastic bags which is not good because you're not contributing with earth, you're not protecting the environment. So in this case, point for China. Our bus is finally approaching. I have my two yarn here. Please gosh, let us be the first ones. is a supermarket I always go to. It's located underground, so let's go. I have here my shopping list so I don't get lost. And the very first thing we're gonna grab is rice and then oil. You can see a large amount of oil. And I don't really know what to pick because everything has different descriptions. I just decided to pick this one and I'm not even sure what I'm picking, but whatever. That's a risk we always foreigners have to take. Then apparently in the rice section you can find also flour and also seaweed with some samples. I don't know if that's something new, but yep. Hello everyone. Uh, I realized the background noise was too loud, so I decided to record a voiceover instead. So, continuing with our shopping tour, we've arrived at the meat section, where you can find American products as well, although the prices are gonna be a little higher, but that's pretty fair. Then, there is the fish area where you can actually pick the fish you want from the tanks. I think this is the biggest difference I've found in a Chinese supermarket since I've never seen such selling method before. And you can even see dead fish inside the tanks, which is a little shocking, yeah. There's 
also the shellfish area, mollusks, something, and finally the crustaceans. Definitely not my favorite part. Now that we're done with the unpleasant part of the tour, let's get going to the vegetable slash fruit section, which I'm not gonna go into much detail since I'm pretty sure we can also find these in any other western supermarket. Right now, I'm grabbing a dragon fruit that can be found in multiple colors. This is a very beautiful fruit indeed. The egg section is very interesting too since we can find a large variety of eggs from a variety of species. I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen a brown egg with such texture. Or grey eggs. And you can get them in its regular packaging or in big boxes like those. It's great to see that little by little my shopping cart is getting full. And yeah, I think a Chinese supermarket is pretty similar to a Western one with the huge difference that almost every single product is in Chinese, so it's quite hard to find what you're looking for. And you also have to know how discounts work in China because they definitely don't work as in Western countries. It's actually the opposite way, but that's another story. After the meat, fruit and vegetables, we've come to my favorite section, the snacks, which again are similar to western countries. You can find many western brands like Lay's, Doritos, Cheetos, Hershey's, Sneakers and M&M's, although the flavors might vary a little. Here we have green tea flavored cookies, cucumber flavored chips, ribeye steak chips, grilled pork flavored chips, lime flavored chips, and even seafood flavored snacks like shrimp flakes. Food, this supermarket also has many departments like electronics, home, toys, clothing, craft supplies. But again, I just wanted to show you guys the things that impress me the most, like these random angel wings placed just in the middle of a hallway. You know, Chinese people particularly love taking pictures, that's why this unexpected photo shoot setup fits perfectly here. finally close to the checkout counters where the drinks are, so here again we can find many western brands for soda, coffee and beer, each of them with its own Chinese trademark, of course. And now that we're finally done, let's check out! So after finishing checking out, I'm here outside, I mean, because shears are there and I have my stuff there. So right now I need to put everything inside my backpack and just in case I decided to buy, because you don't get it for free, you need to buy plastic bags just in case I need to carry something with my hands. And yeah, I think this is it for this video. I didn't know there were gonna be so many people that in the end I just decided to do a voiceover about my shopping experience. So I really hope you guys like that. And yeah, this is it for this video. I really hope you guys like it and please look forward to the next one. Bye bye. Everything about you.